action. Why? Because of a belief in Judeo-Christian values, a belief in patriotism, even as those values were not being applied fairly to black people, uh, a belief in the nuclear intact family, and a belief in entrepreneurship. All those things are right now under assault by organizations like Black Lives Matter. May I finish? I didn't cut yeah, you, you off. No, you, you, yeah, you, you all, have all, it, right? all, all, all the things that, that uh, I just now mentioned are under assault uh, by organizations like Black Lives Matter, which on their website uh, criticize the nuclear intact family. Uh, by definition, they don't support entrepreneurship because they are self-described trained Marxists. Marxists was not somebody who believed in capitalism. And Marx also wanted to, quote, dethrone God. So the very principles that Black people followed, following things like slavery and uh, uh, the Great Depression are now under assault right now by people on the left, and I would dare say by people like you. Oh, fine. Um, I accept that. Dear black folks, can we please have a conversation? No, because it's illegal to talk to black people. According to the black code, it is illegal to talk to black people. Because as soon as we start having a conversation about all the ills and evils that are in the black community, you want to scream racism. And then I say, OK, OK, what do we do about racism? The first answer that comes from like the pro black person is reparations. I'm like, all right, I concede your point. I believe the reparations can help the black community. How do we get reparations? Then the average pro black person is going to say they ain't going to give us no reparations. And so all of a sudden I'm just taking it back like, all right. You say it's racism, you fix racism with reparations, but they won't give us reparations. So now what is your solution? They look at me and say, hey, why are you acting like a coon for? Why are you against black people for? And I'm like, hey, I just want black folks to be the most bestest people in America because everything that black folks do in America affects America at large. Our music, our clothing, our whole culture impacts America in a dynamic way. But instead of accepting the re responsibility of influence, we'll sit there and act like we ain't got no power whatsoever when influence is actual power. They have a whole economy on social media called the influencer economy with people who do performance on camera and they put their message out. And I'm like, hey, black folks, why don't you use your media platforms to be powerful people instead of saying, I'm black, I'm a victim, I got no power, I need reparations, the whole system is against me. And I'm like, are you for you? Huh? Can we have that conversation? Can the black people, can black folks be for black folks? If I ever say black woman, black women get all in their feelings and they get so mad at me. Like, why are you talking about black women? Hey, dear black woman, who else am I supposed to talk about? Who else looks like me in America? If we don't work together in a positive way, then we impact our community in a negative way. I'm going to tell you one. The number one thing that's hurting the black community is black women think they control black men. The number two thing that's destroying the black community is that black men allow black women to control black men. You're going to get so angry with me. I don't care if you're married. I don't care if you're single. When it comes to the black woman, black men pretend to be subservient to black women. And that's not how any community works. That's not how the white community works. That's not how the Asian community works. That's not how the Mexican community works. No immigrant community operates acting like they woman is more powerful than them. But then it comes to the black community and a black woman will sit there and say, you can't talk about the black woman. Only black women can talk about black women. All right, black woman, what are you doing to change the economic situation for the whole black community? Are you going to college and getting a job and then taking care of a black family that includes a black man? Hell no, because you believe in your mind that a black man is supposed to have more money than you. All right, so we have to fight for economic empowerment. In order to have an actual revolution for poor people in America, you have to have a labor revolution. That means that jobs have to be able to give the average American citizen paid vacation, paid sick leave in a livable wage. You know what I'm saying? Some vacation time, some fringe benefits when it comes to employment. But we won't even have that conversation as a community because we'll just sit there and say, well, I don't get the job that I want because I'm black. They don't pay me the salary that I want because I'm black. Have you ever heard of the term negotiation? When it ever comes to a contract, you have to negotiate to get the things that you want. And if you choose not to negotiate, they just look right past you. I'll sit there and I'll say, hey, we need political diversity in America. Uh, we don't have a party that represents black interests. You'll say, well, vote Democrat. I'm like, hey, hey, when has the Democratic Party ever helped you specifically black person? During COVID, the Asian community passed a stop Asian hate crime bill. They did that in less than three months. 
where's the stop black hate in America? And in order to have a stop black hate, then we have to have young black men stop killing young black men. Oh, don't say that. We Don't say black on black crime because all crime is a crime of proximity. Of course, all crime is a crime of, pro of proximity. But we live in poverty. We live... Hey, I live in the projects. I'm surrounded by black people. I stand for MLK. I see black folks all day, every day. Is there anyone over here trying to change the economic situation of these people's lives? No. All you want to do is talk. And I'm tired of having these, these nasty conversations where it's illegal to talk about black people. I want to be free. I don't want to sit back and be controlled by black ideology when black ideology tells me that the black woman is more powerful than me and that not only is the black woman more powerful than me, but I'm always going to be inferior to a white person. I'm, I want to ask any black person in America, have you ever met a white person? Hey, do you know they, they take a shit just like you? Huh? They put their clothes on just like you. They go to work just like you. And you say, well, why is there a discrepancy in their lives? You have to analyze your life. I don't know. I can't think of a white sexy red. I can't think of a white young Jeezy. I can't think of any uh, pop influencer that is promoting debaucherous culture for their community. I can't think of it. And then when I tell you don't behave that way, don't dress that way, you'll say I'm being controlling. Hey, do you want power or do you want to continue to be a victim that ain't got shit? Can we have that conversation? We have people like Larry Elder. He's a modern person right now. I don't even have to agree with all of his ideology, but I know that man has a thought. He has a plan and he's trying to execute it, but you won't even listen to his plan and challenge him on his, the points that you disagree with because it's illegal to talk about black people. And that's one of the most nastiest things that's destroying the black community is that we, we refuse to have any type of accountability, no social responsibility, no economic responsibility, uh, when it comes no family responsibility. We just say, fuck it. <laughs> Anything that's going to make us powerful in America, we just say, fuck that shit. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to say what I want. I'm going to act black. And I asked this question before, what is acting black? What does that mean? How do you act the skin color? I look at my ancestors. I look at my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather, my great great grandfather, who was like a freed slave who bought land. These people behaved with power. My great great grandfather wasn't saying, respect me as no black man. He told those white people who were trying to control his life that you're going to respect me as a man. And I'm asking every black man in America, don't you want to be respected as a man and not based on the color of your skin, like Martin Luther King said? No. You want to have some type of prize for being black. You have like a fucking inferiority complex and that shit is destroying us as a people. That shit is destroying you as an individual. You look up to white people so goddamn much. White people ain't fucking special. <laughs> We're all people who take a shit every day and wake up and want a better life. And if we don't try to fight for a better life, then we're going to continue to be in last place. I'm having this conversation because I love you. If you ever ask me, say, why are you talking about black people? Because I love you. If I didn't give a shit, I would ignore you and continue on my day and go be a millionaire and then scam on black people like other black millionaires do. Play on your emotions. Sell you a dream. All black people, well, you got to support black business. And as you make that black business rich, how the fuck do they reinvest in you? How do you reinvest in yourself? Can we have these conversations? It's not illegal to talk to black people. Y'all just scared. It's not illegal to be powerful. Y'all just scared. And I ain't scared. I'm finna go fight for freedom, fight for power, because I believe that being black in America is powerful. The greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.